Hi everyone, this is Jill Celeste from jillceleste.com where I teach entrepreneurs all they need to know about marketing so they can attract new clients to their business. Today I want to talk to you about creating a marketing campaign and specifically the types of questions you should ask yourself before you start putting the campaign in place and really implementing it. When you do a marketing campaign, it really takes a bit of legwork at the beginning. So just to be clear, what a marketing campaign is, is a set of activities that you put in place to promote your business or to promote a specific product or service. Now you may be thinking, well, this sounds like something that big brands do, and that is correct. Big brands absolutely do marketing campaigns all the time, but as an entrepreneur, you should be as well. So to help you get set up on maybe your first uh, campaign or maybe a revised campaign for your marketing, I wanna tell you five questions you can ask yourself to really make sure that your marketing campaign is going to be effective. So the first question I want to always remind people about is what do you wanna accomplish through your marketing campaign? Think about the difference you wanna make in your marketplace. Uh, you know, and this could be as specific as, you know, I want to um, attract this certain demographic or I want to have this type of market share. It, it's something that's just kind of guides the whole marketing campaign. These are actually called objectives and these would be part of your objectives of your marketing plan. So it's really important that you sit down and think about what you hope to accomplish. The second thing to add to ask yourself is who is your target audience for this campaign? This is such an important question for anything we do in marketing, but especially true for marketing campaigns. You wanna ask yourself a series of questions about who you think would benefit from what you're trying to market. So these could be demographic related questions such as you know age, male or female, where they're located, what they're interested in, what's keeping up at, them up at night, those types of questions. And when you really drill down, you might wanna create a persona or an avatar that's related to your target audience. This will really help you hone in and focus in on what it is your ideal client is looking for and how you can solve their problems. So make sure that you really drill down on your target audience for this marketing campaign. The third thing I want you to do is I want you to really specify how your target audience will benefit from what it is you're marketing. So the easiest way to do that is to take out a sheet of paper like this, and I'm gonna pull this in, hopefully you can see it, and to draw a line right down the center, and on one side have features, and on one side have benefit. Because what happens a lot of times when we start thinking about writing marketing copy is we focus in on the features, right? Because these are the things that are really cool about that product or service. But that's actually not what should appear in your marketing copy and in your messaging. What the benefits are is really what makes this whole marketing campaign, because remember, it's all about your ideal client. So list the features and then list the benefit to your ideal client for each feature, and then use this column for your messaging. And this is just a very simple exercise to make sure you are inserting the right words and the right feeling, the right emotional resonance, and the messaging in your marketing campaign. So do this simple exercise and that'll help you out tremendously. The fourth question I want you to ask yourself is, where is your ideal client hanging out? So you've identified your target audience, you've identified how your product or service is going to help them. So now you need to find the places to communicate this message. And these are your marketing tactics. If your ideal client are people who read Sports Illustrated and their local Sunday paper, then that's where you should be. You know, if you wanna fish where the fish are, right? You wanna be where the ideal client is because that's where you're gonna get the biggest bang for your buck. So if you're not sure from a marketing perspective where your target, mar target audience is hanging out, ask some of your past clients, ask them where, what websites they visit what events they go to, what publications they read, how could you get your message to people just like them. Do a little research and then whatever you find, those are the marketing tactics you wanna employ for your marketing campaign. The fifth thing is a question to ask, what about this campaign would be successful for you? You know, How would you rate this as success? What has to happen? And these are really your goals for the campaign. 
So you want to be very specific here. You want to add, you know, maybe you want to say you want to increase sales by 50% or you want to increase sales by $15,000. You want to add real specific numerical values to your goals. That way, when you are done with your campaign and you look at what you've done versus what you hoped to have done, you'll have some comparison that you can make. Now, you might be thinking, God, I have no idea. This is like a shot in the dark, and that's okay. If you're kind of new at this or you don't have enough background information to really make a good goal, you can actually set three goals. One is a threshold, which is a goal that you can easily obtain. The other would be a target goal, which is a goal that you have about a 60% chance of accomplishing, and then a stretch goal, and that would be about a 20% likelihood that you would meet that goal. That way, if you have three different goals, then you won't feel like a failure if you don't meet one of them because you met probably the middle or the first one. So it's kind of a mindset issue. And then you can use that information for the next marketing campaign, the next marketing campaign, and it time just rolls down the hill after that. So hopefully those uh, having those three goals will help you if you're not quite sure what type of values to add to your goals for your marketing plan. So those are the five questions to ask yourself when you are putting together a marketing plan for your product or service or for your whole company. And I really hope this helps you can dig in and get some foundational work done before you launch your campaign. If you need additional marketing assistance, please visit my website at www.jillceleste.com. And until next time, here's to your marketing success and have a great day.